Alright guys, if y'all are trying to uh, catch your own bait, this is what we do. Cat food. This is just puree. Yeah, see how the knot's above the, uh, the middle rack to keep it suspended? Make sure it's bad cat, uh, cat food. Stinking. We put it, yeah, we put it out. It's like two years old, man. Put it right in the mouth, have it pointing so that when they go up current, they swim into it. The farthest you can get it back in there, the better. But you want it completely submerged at low, low tide. right now but uh, usually about 30 minutes me and Jared could throw the cast net back in here in 30 minutes that thing would be that full on the bottom. Is that your string? Right there is oh. a little crab. Yeah, let's take him, take him guys some minnows. <laughs> let's get him. Yeah, let's hold go. on, let me get a look. Yeah. Let's <laughs> it up, boy. Look at that. A lot of minnows. Cat food does a trick. Usually you only gotta let this sit like 30 minutes or so. We let this sit for about six hours. And we got a we got a few gob stoppers in there. A lot of them are about as big as their finger. But uh, uh just make sure it faces as the tide's going out and your uh mince not chunks, mince cat food and a pantyhose so it can hang in the middle. And the reason for the pantyhose so that it doesn't dissolve and come out of the trap. They just sit on the outside of the trap. Either, so. yeah. I mean, we had a trap. We filled it up. You don't have a bucket? <laughs> Here you go, you put him in. Come on, fishy! Come on, fishy! Get him, get him, get him, get him! They're slippery, aren't they? That's a good one right there. Cats like fishy! 